This is the grocery. Wong's grocery. Not forgotten. I'm at the corner of my Juba Road and we have some people just liming here, you know. My dear lady, officer, no, no, no. officer, excuse me. Let me just stop you a minute now. I want you to say something on behalf of the, the, the tiny man who got killed here, boy. What, what you want me to say? I do not love story and I, you know people are wrong. Well, all right, well, let me tell you. You know, what you think about this thing, boy? This, what I think? Yeah. Well, I, I think about that. It's crime. It's crime. So we, we, crime is a, is a bad thing. You understand? But these people here grow me up from small. Oh, Since I born, I born in this community, and yeah. I grew here. You and this grocery grow me up to reach my age. So there's only good things I could say about these people. Is it closed down now, or do you think they will open back? Yeah, they will open back. Yes. So who would be? Because this is the father gone. Not the son. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's who left now? You well, know the family. It have, it have wife and it have children. It have, okay. it have, it have Uncles, it have yeah, all kind of things. We grieve this death mm -hmm. of this young man. Let's hear right. what we want. We want these soldiers by every corner okay. in Trinidad and Tobago. We want, we, want we want these soldiers by every corner in Trinidad and Tobago. That is what we want, we want here. Camera. If it had camera, they would have, they would have You understand? But the camera coming too late. The man dead already. You know, youth man say something, man, you young fella, boy, yeah. oh gosh, boy, say something, but, say something. But I, I, nice grow, I, I grew up amongst them, I grew up amongst them, and because I would like to say it's a hard loss. It's a hard, it's a hard loss. It's a hard loss, and... You know him by name? Yeah. What's your first name, man? Huh? Oh, Lord. Yeah, understand? I know him. Very hard, it's real hard. You understand? I grew up amongst them. Nice when well, since I'm born, I know myself, this grocery grow me up. To reach, to reach this age. But tell me something. You know, right now they're charging seven hundred dollars are going to affect twelve hundred dollars are going to affect. What what create that that? And the youth now mm -hmm. looking for money, and this is what I think it linked directly. You know, they're killing people to get money to go and party. Yeah, boy. but who you create that image? Carnival, you who tell create me? the image that they take party away from me? Carnival fete away from me. I can't go in a carnival fete because it's too expensive. I I never even. Im Receive a, a permanent job in Trinidad and Tobago. So do you think it's right now to kill a man to get money to go to the fed? No. Well, this was saying. Yeah, but it's, uh, you believe it's, it's, it's fat or, or it's food, right? I don't know which one. No, but it's fat. This it's is the time they're encouraging too much right. crime and all these parties. Yeah. We mourn the death of a decent young man. At the Majua, Juba Crossroad in Dego Martin. In Dego Martin. Thank you. In the National Stadium, athletes are going through their paces. The usual on an evening in preparation for the season that is now started 2018. Here's Mr. Skinner. Mr. Skinner, I need a comment from you on the closure of the National Stadium.
because um, we got a when letter. When is it tomorrow? Yeah, I think so, the 24th. Is it 20? Oh my God. And there's no date as to when it's opening back. Any fact. comments on that, Mr. Skinner? Uh, well, I think they should show us, well, few things. Um, it's unfortunate every year they have to close down, but I guess money is far more, I mean, I guess income, making income is very important, we know that, but at least the shit gives you some respect. In the How is this state of the toilets? Right, as you see this one has come down. So we can probably plan our business a lot better. Also, it will be nice if they give, had given us more time so we can readjust, you know, so we can, we'll be able to adjust our program, mm -hmm. um, you know, knowing when the stadium would be closing and opening. It, you know, um, if they let us know well, they're closing us. But just two days, I think we got that letter on, on Friday or Monday. I, I got it yesterday. Yes, yeah, something Most like this. Because I have not even met with the club to discuss of it. So we, of course, we have to change our whole training program, and it's unfortunate. But this is during the, the peak of our um, season, where we are getting ready. The, all the clubs in the north are getting ready for, of course, the Carifta Games and the Commonwealth Games. Much more important, um, very importantly, I saw we had to give alternative place, places of training, but. As you all know, well, not people know that, but we cannot train top athletes on a strip of less of 100 meters. We, are, we have about six clubs in the north. So to say the alternative is training on the warm-up strip is not an alternative. Actually, they invite us to train in the schools. Um, well, the schools do not, uh, well, I, again, we needed more. All I'm saying is we should have been given more time so we can do it. So tell me something, for the Memphis club, uh, Mr. Skinner, you have any alternative um, training arrangements well, we, for we, we, your we athletes? We, we are, no, we are, well, I am meeting this evening with the management of our team to this come up to with our gym. Team. I don't know why this piece of wood is, is here. This was our elite gym. This is what has remained of the gym. It's open. It's now like a storeroom because the roof leaks. The roof leaks. Where is the money that is collected from the feds? Where is it going? To repair our mirrors? We have no ice bath. This room has been condemned for the longest while, going on two years. Why hasn't this room been repaired? It would be nice if we had given more time so we could come up with the alternatives mm -hmm. um, areas. Of course we're going to come up with alternative areas. We have been overcoming hurdles for years. That's why maybe that's why we have but, the best but, but do you think it will affect your performances in any way or you think it's I a minor matter? I do not want to make that prediction. Um, it's a minor issue for your club, right? No, it's, a, it's an issue. It's, it's an issue. issue. The, uh, but we, over the years, have been able to adjust. It, it's unfortunate that we... You know, we'd like to have life a lot simpler and whatnot. But mm. uh, you know, when you know, when you know where the environment you're working with, you can adjust accordingly. And um, that's all they were. So um, it would be nice if, when they're closing the stadium, they tell us maybe a month ahead of time when the stadium would be closed and when it would be open, so we could plan our. Um, our training program. Our program, because so we, I'm fully aware that how important the carnival is, it's our culture, so I'm fully aware of that. But just give us enough time to do kind of find alternative solutions. If you take a look, you would see that they already started putting down a black carpet. Oh, okay, that's... Uh -huh. And um, making preparations. Uh, this entire ground is usually covered with um, a material and the grass ends up white the grass area of the stadium.